Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with passenger lists. There is a lot to say, so we have divided it into three parts. This is part one, please watch as well, parts two and three. For any service added to a project, two fundamental pieces of information are required, the date and the number of passengers. These influence the availability, rate and feasibility. The default for both are defined when a new project is started. If the actual passenger names are not yet known at this stage, placeholders are used instead. For example, passenger 1, 2, etc. Once the project is created, any necessary amendments can be made on the passenger list page. Click on Passenger List. On this page, two related but distinct concepts are managed. Passengers Detail and Rooming List. Passengers Detail refers to the full list of passengers that will participate in the project. There is only one such list for each project. Rooming List refers to how passengers are allocated to rooms. Singles, doubles, twins, triples or quadruples. A project can have many different rooming lists. For example, if the room allocation changes or if the group splits. For Passengers Detail, click on the plus to display. Once known, the names for passengers are entered. Each name must be unique. In our example, this is not the case as we have Smith A, Well C, and Higgs L twice. To distinguish passengers, add for example titles or names. Age is entered only for children, for example Lucas 4 and Lily 1. It is possible to add a comment for individual travellers, for example for Mrs Dalton that she is a vegetarian. If the project combines passengers from different clients that need to be invoiced separately, the client for each passenger is selected here, for example for Mr and Mrs Wells that they are from the client F training. You can specify a number and add passengers. For example, enter 2 and click. Two new passengers appear in Passengers Detail. You can remove by clicking on the cross. All changes to Passengers Detail must be submitted Otherwise, they will be lost when you navigate away from the page. Click Submit. The rooming list defines how passengers will share rooms. For a single room, there should be only one passenger in the room. For example, for the first room, Mr. Smith alone. For a double room, there should be two passengers. For example, in the second room, Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Dalton. And in the third room, Mr. and Mrs. Wells. For a room with two beds, click Twin. For example, for Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Dalton. For a triple, select three passengers. For example, Mr. and Mrs. Higgs and Luke. For a quadruple, select four. All changes to a rooming list must be submitted, otherwise they will be lost if you navigate away from the page. Click Submit. You can specify a number and add rooms. For example, enter 2 and click. You can remove by clicking on the cross and submit.